Hello, friend. Let's chat about the ego or heart center as the inner authority. Now, this one's kind of really powerful. You know, everybody's powerful. But this one, it just has this other just nuance to it. So let's uh, take a look here at the heart center. So first, again, want to just review inner authority. If you've been, you know, if you've listened to um, earlier ones, you can kind of fast forward through this if you want. I usually never say the same thing twice, but um, inner authority is the way for you to listen to your own consciousness field. And like I said in the other videos, I am well aware that we come from one this one and we're all connected to the consciousness field however you came here to have a differentiated individuated life and that differentiation and that individuation provides you with your own correct decision making and it comes from within your consciousness field in your physical body so the inner authority brings the power of your decisions back into you, into your consciousness field. You take back your authority. Take back your power. You, we're watching this happen all over our world. We're watching this happen. People are sick and tired of the government pushing them around. And no, I'm not a conspiracy theory fanatic. Yes, I, I, I pay attention to them just because I want to see what's happening in the not-self. And what was created in that whole government experiment was how do we control the people? And you control the people by making them feel like they no longer have any kind of authority. You know, they made up all these rules and regulations and laws and, and money and whatever else you want to call it. They made it all up. Now, you can bring back your authority into you and create and make up your own life. So the inner authority empowers you to live your own individualized life. You don't have to conform. None of us have to conform. Yeah, do I in some sense? I guess I probably do. We don't have to. You know, we don't have to conform. And there's a huge movement to this individualized, individualized life. So inner authority elevates self-actualization. Self I don't think I've said that right in any video. Um, to a place of pure awareness. Like you get to see the movie. You get to watch it. You get to see and have a real aha moment for yourself. And inner authority assesses what is correct for you. It's, it's not about the outside authorities. It's not about that. What's correct for you? And when you're not using the not self to make decisions, how do I want to say? The not self can be a harmful place, really. Um, it's not nice, it's nasty, um, it can be mean. And when you're coming from a place of, of, of true self, and really from the light of love, and I get it, we're a duality, we need both, right? We need both, and, 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 and human design kind of puts us kind of in the middle and allows us to play on, on, the, on the fulcrum right here instead of teeter-tottering way out here. But it assesses what's correct for you. The inner authority sets out the movie so that you can watch it. Because if you're, if you're, if you're in your head, in the not-self, it is like trying to look through a dirty windshield. You know, trying to look through a lens that's completely scratched up and distorted. Inner authority allows you to, um, allows for that, it, it to be, you know, clear. So you're completely aware. Inner authority is the composer of the instrument you came here to play through. 
you know, you, you, your definition is your instrument. That is your um, tool, your instrument to use to play your note in the frequency field, in the vibration. And, you know, just imagine a guitar, right? You're strumming away, and what the not self does is it starts putting crazy glue on the strings, taping them down. No, we don't want you to pluck on that one, so we're going to tape that one down. And then all of a sudden, the music is distorted, and that's kind of what the not self does. So the inner authority clears up the airwaves and tunes in your outer authority. So it's like all that openness in your chart is can be two things. It can be conditioning, can be really distorted, nasty, um, mean, yucky stuff that comes out of there. Or it could be a place of a ginormous amounts of wisdom, ginormous amounts. When we just let the information field flow through us and then use our interpreter, our true self, to then understand the wisdom, right? And then we get to then go, okay, well, here's what I'm experiencing in the, in, in the wisdom. And you get to share that with other people and be that outer authority for others. Our minds are not our authority, but they can help other people through our experience. You know, something that doesn't really entice me is to um, throw a parachute on my back and, and jump out of a plane. You know, maybe there's some fear in there, possibly, um, but it doesn't, there's, it, there's no movement to go towards that. There's no manifestation or creation happening behind that. But there's lots of people that love it and do it more than once. So I can then, like, gain wisdom through their experience. I'm not actually having the experience, but really, when I look at the whole thing, yeah, I kind of am, because we're all connected. But I don't actually have to have that experience because it's not something that I move towards. I don't have to have every experience on the planet. I'm not built for that. I'm built to have the experiences that are right for me through my inner authority. All right. So the heart and the ego. So there's actually two types here that can have this as a definition. So first we have our manifestors and the heart needs to be connected to the throat in order to have a manifestor so or a motor okay but because we obviously don't have the solar plex we don't have the sacral and we don't have the root all we have left here is this motor so this motor can go directly to the throat here or it can go up through the channel of um the competitive channel or we, you know, it has to flow through there and then up through one of these channels to the throat. Um, can go either way. So it can be direct or indirect. So I live with an ego manifester and his is indirect. So it comes from here, goes up through his identity and then up to the throat. And What's really interesting in this um, configuration is those manifestors, what you're going to notice is that the I will statements and the action of the I will, there's will behind the action. And I noticed that with my husband is I, I listen to what he says and when he says, I will do blah, 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 he does it. There's always action behind it. But if he's kind of, you know, if he's in, in his not self and his head, you know, creating some kind of BS story, I know immediately that it's not true. <laughs> because there's no I will behind it. There's no um, willpower. There's no commitment behind it. But when there's commitment, that's his inner authority. That's his, that's his true self speaking. So it needs to go from the, um, from the motor directly or indirectly up to the throat. And it all has to be connected if you have an ego manifester. 
So listen for their I will statements and a lot of um, willpower behind there. And, and for the projector, what you're going to notice is that it's, is it, you know, it's this channel here. The channel of uh, competition is right here. And um, for these beings, there's so much identity inside the will because they're connected. And that identity and that that those I statements, but it's a it's it's a little different with a projector because they are waiting for that invitation, and then it's like, oh yeah, you know, I can do this or I can I can move or I I will do this, but. From, from, from my um, experience of it, they're a little more soft. And I'm not saying manifestors are harsh. It's not what I'm saying. But manifestors have that motor behind that. So from the willpower to the action, there's, there's this, it, it's, I shouldn't say it's an intensity, but it's... Um, Kind of is a little bit of an intensity, but it's not harsh. And projectors are just a little bit more soft because it's the identity that is being spoken from the I statements. And then there is this, you know, this commitment. Um, both of these beings can make promises if it's correct for them. You know, if, if, if the ego or the heart center is defined in anybody's chart and you're making decisions correctly. Commitments are, you know, you can easily make a commitment and make a promise because your inner authority is there and then it's backed up by the, by the heart center. But here the heart center is the inner authority. So the promise is right there that is the inner authority so these beings can make promises and i put be selfish underneath the projector but really it's underneath the manifester as well you know it's really about um being selfish and you know if it's the manifest manifester and, and it's coming from the ego center or heart center up through the identity center then to the throat you know, there is a lot of I statements here. But if it's going from the ego for the manifester straight up to the um, throat center here, and if it's direct, this is a tribal channel. This isn't, you know, this here's an individual channel. This here's a tribal channel. And that tribal channel is a lot of we have, you know, it can say I have, but a lot of times it's we because it's tribal. It's, it's including the tribe in that conversation. And if it is coming from the ego or the heart through this um, individual channel from the identity, and it could go through any one of these role channels here. And if that's the case, there is, there is lots of I statements and it is about being selfish. You know, lots of people don't like that word. Don't be selfish. Well, it's a, it's, it's not a negative connotation here. You know, we put so much connotation on words that it's, it's unhealthy for our whole planet. But um, it's about making sure that you're hearing your own I statements and your own I voice and I will and, um, you know, I can do and I, 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 I want to do this. It make, it's going to make, um, you know, I, I will be able to commit. Those are the kind of things that you want to hear, and those are really selfish because it is about I. This whole thing is about I. <laughs> it's about me. It's about you. It's about being in there. So the heart can stay healthy when it is given the ability to rest 
and then pump and then rest and then pump. So don't have this idea that because there, um, because there was a commitment behind this, that you have to see everything out to the very nth degree. No, it's still about paying attention to, you know, what is the energy around the, the ego or the heart center. And because it's a motor, if there is no more um, commitment there and say something is only halfway through, it's, that's okay. And if you're like, you know, I'm tired. I need to stop now and hand this over or someone else can finish it. I just can't go on. That's perfect. That's okay. Just because the commitment was there doesn't mean that it has to, to be, you know, drawn out to the nth degree. That is what's unhealthy. The heart also needs a rest. And so do, you know, ego manifestors and, project, and ego projectors. So trust that, that, you know, when the invitation is there, you're going to hear yourself. And it's going to sound very quite selfish because it is about I, 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 I. And for manifestors, you know, when it's a manifested creation out of there, it can be I will or we will. We have, we have, I have, those kind of things, depending on if it's direct or indirect. And just remember that there's commitment behind there, but the commitment doesn't have to follow through on everything. You know, in your design, possibly, um, you know, as a as a ego manifester or a, an ego projector, um, you know, maybe it's not about starting something. Maybe it's about stepping into the commitment halfway through and actually finishing it. So it's, you know, either way. And you don't have to feel bad if, you know, you're there's never a commitment in the beginning, but you can step in in the middle and see it out to the rest of the, the to finish it. Or that you step in in the, in, in the beginning and, and you don't see it out to the end. Those are all little scenarios that the not-self mind is going to say, oh, well, you committed. Push on, push on. And that's not good for you. So really, it's don't stress about being selfish. It's okay. Our world, of course, has told us not to be. And let me tell you, that is all shifting. 2027 is coming. And, you know, the cross of the sleeping phoenix is going to be arising. And, you know, the cross of planning is, is coming to an end. So it's, you know, community is still important. There's no doubt about that. But it isn't about handing your authority to anybody else. It's not handing your authority to anybody to control you. It's about you holding on to your authority. And that makes us all selfish. Anyway, so if any of this intrigues you, you want to look at your design any farther, um, just know that uh, I have tons of coaching packages and What's fun is we can mesh and meld and play and, and do whatever we need to do um, to create it just for you. There's, you know, entrepreneurial, um, career, personal, all kinds of stuff. Health, wellness. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I look forward to uh, connecting. Thanks. Bye.